Hello everyone and welcome to our final Pagefly tutorial video. So today we're going to be doing the contact us page and we're going to be building, drum roll please, the Shopify contact page. So without Shopify, Pagefly would not exist. So we're going to be honoring them by recreating one of their pages for our last tutorial in this course. Okay, so we'll take a quick look here. We've got the first section. It's a half, half, two columns, some paragraphs, headings, buttons in there, an image on the right. Uh, just some basic text here. We've got three columns and then two, which you probably guessed by now, we will just be duplicating most of that. And we've got a final section with a CTA. Okay, we've got a subscription form with button here and some copy underneath it. Okay, so let's get started with the layout elements here. Our first section was half and half. Okay, there we are. We've got an image in the right. And I've just saved the image from the page five page, so no big deals there. We'll center that image. No need to make an extra block because we're not putting any text or anything on the right. Okay, on the left, we start with a paragraph. And then there's actually two headings. So we'll throw a heading in there. We'll duplicate it. And then there's a button. So we'll put a block in. And finish it with the button. Okay, just a regular old button there. Select the block. Uh, is everything okay? It's not centered, so we'll leave it as is there. Okay, next section was just um, heading, paragraph, button. Something that we've seen many times. Fairly uh, common content within a section in the uh, web design world. Okay, heading. Paragraph, block, get in that column. There we go, block, button. We will be centering this stuff, so I think I'll just choose the whole column and center everything. There we go, that's done. The next one, full section, we've actually got a triple, right? with, let's see how it goes, heading, paragraph, and well, we can we can make that one paragraph and just space it up, okay? And we've got a link attached there, which we'll do when we put in the content. So just image, uh, is that, wait a second, is that centered? No, it's not. So we'll have to, we'll put a block in for the image just to be safe, okay? Put a block with uh, image, so we can make sure we center the image without affecting the, the heading in the paragraph. Okay. Get in there and the paragraph. Okay. Not centered once again. Good. So we will delete, delete, duplicate. Come on. Do I, oh, I don't I have the block, not the column. Sorry about that. Oh, uh oh. I've made a mess of it here. Okay, make sure I have the column selected. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Come on, one more. Give me one more. There we go. Okay, there's our five, five photos with the uh, name of the city and the address. Last section, half, half columns. Okay, I think we've just got a heading on the left. Heading on the left, we've got mail form with a button on the right. Put that in first. Then we've got 
You know, theirs is a little bit different, so you would need to customize this form a little bit to get it to look exactly like theirs. You see they've got the space in here with the form, but we can just put in the whole form as one. Okay, we've just got a paragraph at the bottom now. And there we go. Quick and easy, so I will see you in the next video when we do the content. Okay, thanks a lot.